Hi everyone, welcome back. Jessica here bringing you another Flex and Flow. As always, weights are optional, so if you don't have any, don't worry about it, you can use your body weight. If you have things that are the same weight, maybe two water bottles, two water jugs, something along those lines. Um, a block today, if you have one, I would recommend using it. Um, and then besides that, we'll meet at the top of our mats, take your time, feet come hip distance. Just starting to center the body. So toes are spread, roll the shoulders up back and down away from the ears, relax the arms down by the sides. And just close the eyes for a moment. Just grounding the body, grounding the mind, letting go of the thoughts, bringing yourself here into your workout, your time on your mat. And then when you're ready, just blinking the eyes open. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, palms will meet. Once they do, bend the elbows, thumbs to the chest. Just warming up the shoulders two more times like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good. Setting up to stretch the sidelines as you inhale, arms will reach. Your choice, you can catch the left wrist with the hand, you can cross the thumbs or drop the right hand outside the thigh. Your exhale, left arm reaches towards the right. Chest and hips stay square to the top of your mat. Gaze can lift or lower, whatever works best for your neck. Left side body is long. Quads are strong, your thighs squeeze together. Slowly inhale, rise to center. And then just switch. So maybe you catch the right wrist. Maybe the palms are still touching, thumbs are crossed, maybe the left hand is outside the left thigh. You're reaching through the right hand, breathing into the right side, space between the ribs, opening everything up. Taking it deeper with your exhale. And then slowly rise to center when the palms meet, just bend the elbows, release the thumbs to the chest, bring the arms down by the sides, and then we'll go ahead and get started with our weights. I'm going to use a six pound set of weights here, so I would recommend something on the lighter side. Good, so one weight in each hand, wrists are facing in towards the thighs, feet can come hip distance, maybe even shoulder distance, just to keep a soft bend in the knees. Good, relax the shoulders. On the inhale, you're going to lift the weights up to shoulder height. Once you're there, flip the palms to the sky. Bend the elbows to 90 degrees. Now pull the elbows down to the rib cage. Really squeeze the back muscles here. You're going to bring the hands in shoulder distance like you're serving your weights and then bring it down. Good. So you're taking the lower half of a bicep curl here. You're just reversing these movements. Bring the weights out. Lift the weights up. Extend the arms. Flip the palms. Drop the weights. Good. That was one. Inhale. Lift. Flip. Bend. Pull it in. Good, serve the weights, drop the weights, and then re-bend. Just unwinding your movements. If you lose your movements, don't worry, just catch up wherever we are. Using the brain here as we move. Good, so the core is engaged. Crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Good, keep it going. Starting to feel the shoulders here. Relaxing the face, four more. Trying to keep the lower body steady. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Control movements, three more. Retracing your steps. Good, last two. If you need to switch the weights, switch the weights. If you need to drop the weights, drop the weights. Your body, you know where you are today. And at the same time, if you're not feeling enough of a challenge and you have the weights, take a heavier weight option. Last one. Good, working our way out of this. And then once the hands come down to the outer thighs, I'm gonna pick up a heavier weight for this option, so I'll bring both weights down. 
I'm gonna take an eight set weight, or sorry, an eight pound set of weights, and then I'm gonna take about two steps back. You're gonna bend the elbows so the weights are up towards the shoulders. As you step forward with the right foot, you're gonna come onto the ball of the left and press, sorry, press the left weight to the sky. So you're taking opposite arm, opposite leg. So left elbow bends, left heel drops, right foot steps back. So step with the left, press with the right. Good, join me when you're ready. Slow and control, right foot, left weight. Good, this is four. Still keeping the core engaged. Five. Six. Seven. Last set here. Good, once the left foot steps back, take the feet wide, you're gonna set up for a sumo stance. So you're gonna drop the weights down so the wrists face in towards one another. Knees are gonna bend, so you should feel this in the thighs. Set the hips back, tuck the tailbone so the spine is long, gaze is down so the back of the neck is also long. One weight at a time, low roll. Right, right weight pulls towards the shoulder, right weight drops down. Left, right, good, left. Four, three, keep the hips low. Two, good, last one. Good, rise back to stand, reset the feet. We're gonna come back into that step to press. So weights come towards the shoulders, right foot steps forward, left weight presses. Good, bend, step it back. Good, this is two. Moving at your pace. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Eight, good. When the left foot steps back, feet come wide. Back into those sumo rows. So toes are out, knees are bent. Hips are down and back, tailbone is tucked. Flat back, protect the low back, squeeze the core. Right, left, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, rise to stand, we're gonna use one weight. So I'm just gonna set one of these down. You're holding each side of the weight in the hands. I want you to press the ends of the weight in so you're activating through the chest. Feet are hip distance, take a deep breath in. Good, from here, right foot will step back, you're taking a lunge, so the front knee is bent, and then you're gonna twist the torso to the left. Weight stays close to the chest. When you're ready, you're untwisting, stepping forward, taking a forward press. Good, so make sure you're holding on to the weight. Rebend, left foot steps back, twist right, untwist, step forward, press forward. Good, that's two. Right back, twist left, forward, step, press. Good, keep going. Halfway there. Move with control, two more. Keep the pressure on the weight, last one. Good, once the left foot steps forward, you're gonna turn to the left. We're stepping out with this left foot. So you're gonna hold on to the weight, maybe watch the first one here. You're gonna take a lateral step, toes point out so that the knee bends towards the toes. Butt sinks down and back, elbows stand towards the ribs. You're gonna extend, bend, Press it up. Now you're pressing the weight to the sky. Staying with the left leg. So stay here. Step it out. Extend. Curl. Step it in. Press it up. Join me when you're ready. Good, we're here for eight. So we have seven more. Strong right leg. Round through the outer edge of the right foot. Hug the navel in. Good, last four. Really launching off that left foot. 
Final two. Last one. Good, when the weight comes back to the chest, turn to the top of the mat, we're coming back into the step back, twisted from the torso, good. So press to the ends of the weight, right foot steps back, twist left, center, forward pressing. Good, switching the legs. Good, that's two. Halfway through. Good, this is five. Final two. Good, once you take your front press, turn to the left. I'm gonna come to the back of my mat if you wanna face to the right, feel free to do that. You're stepping out with the right foot. Good, so you're still stepping out, curling, bringing it up, pressing to the sky. Weight shift to the left foot, right foot steps out. As the knee bends, send the butt back, extend the arms down, bend, press it out, and up. Good, this is two. Keep the steady breath. Halfway there. Last two. Good, finish up this last one. And then we're gonna set this weight down. We're gonna use two weights for these movements and we're gonna come down onto the knees. Good, so I'm going to use, let's see, I'm gonna use the six pounds for this. I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a Y raise. So think shoulder press, but when you press up, you're coming diagonal to 45 degrees. So gauge that to pick what weights that you're gonna use for this. If this is too much pressure, too much strain on the shoulders, you're coming straight up over. So you choose, you pick your weights. Knees are hip distance. Tops of the feet can be down, toes can tuck, whatever you prefer. Good, palms are facing forward. When you're ready, find that 45 degrees, and then bend. Good, press it up, take it down. Three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight. Once you bend the elbows, we're gonna move into a bicep curl. So you're gonna take the knuckles down towards the thighs, Bend the wrists up towards the shoulders. That's one. Four. Five. Six. Good, last two. Once you finish up the last one, we're gonna hinge forward, moving into a tricep extension. So you may need to untuck the toes if that works for your balance. You're hinging forward, bending the elbows, and then setting the pinky sides of the weight straight back. So bend, extend. Bend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, rise it back up, waist to the shoulders, back to those wide presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good. When the weights come down, you release into your bicep curl. One, two, elbows stay locked into the ribs. Three, four, good. Working the hamstrings. Five, six, seven, good. Last one, extend the arms, hinge it forward. Good, find the balance here, flat back. You're gonna bend, press it back. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight. One more set, rise it up. Bend the elbows, wide press. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, good, curl, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tricep, hinge it forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, last two, good, finish up your last one, set the weights down, we're coming down onto our backs, we are still using weights, I'm going to switch back to the eights for this, first exercise we're using both weights, next exercise we're only using one, so the knees are going to stay bent, soles of the feet are on the mat, you're going to take the elbows to 45 degrees from the shoulders, so I want you to think, elbows hugged into the ribs, elbows shoulder distance, or sorry, shoulder height, you're going to be in between that, so the elbows are in this 45 degree angle, good, so you're holding on to the weights, one of the elbows is always down, so you're just alternating to press, so the right knuckles press up, when the elbow comes down, you press the left knuckles up, good, so left, right presses, left presses, good, taking it from side to side, Joining me when you're ready, we're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With control, just set one of the weights down. Hold on to the weight like I explained when we were doing those step back torso twists. You're pressing the sides of the weights. Now the elbows are going to hug in towards the ribs. And you're going to press the weight straight up. You want to activate the chest here. So really press into the ends of the weight. And then hug the elbows back down outside the ribs. Good. So press for one. Lower. Two. Lower. Try to crush the weight. Three. Lower. Four. Lower. Five. Three more. Last two. Keep the pressure. Last one. Good. Once you re-bend the elbows, switch back to both weights. Find that 45 degree distance from the rib cage. You're taking it alternate, the alternate weights. Right. Left. Good. Keep it going. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Once the left shoulder, sorry, left elbow comes down, drop one of the weights to the sides with control. Grab the weight with both hands. Press into the ends of the weight. Elbows are into the ribs. You're pressing straight up, hugging the elbows in. Good. That's one, two, hug it in. Good. Press the ends of the weight. Four more. Three. Good. Last two. Good. Once you finish the last one, weights will come off to the side. Now we're going to grab our block. If you don't have a block, that is completely fine. You're just going to pretend you have a block. If you do have a block, you're going to bring the block to the sole of the left foot. It might take a moment to get it there if your hamstrings are super tight. So get it to the top of the left foot however you need to. Maybe you use somebody that's in your house. So here, the arms can come down by the sides. Arms can come overhead, whatever works best here. You're going to try to keep the left foot stable, and you're going to flex the right foot. We're slowly lowering the right heel to hover, and then lifting it back up for one. Good. Core is engaged. Squeeze the inner thighs. Two. Steady with the left foot. Three. Good. Just warming up the core here. Four. Five. Chin tucks in towards the chest. Three more. Seven, last one. Eight, good. If you're super duper talented, feel free to switch the block without touching it with the hands. Block comes onto the right foot. Heels are pressing up towards the sky. Arms are down by the hips. Left heel lowers to hover. Good, keep the toes facing towards the body. So strong through the foot, strong through the quad. Lower back is flat on the mat. This is three. Steady right foot, four. Five, six, 
Good, use the core, last two. Finish your last one, switch the block back to the left foot. Now we're just adding in the lift of the upper body. So left foot stays where it is, right foot stays here for now. Fingertips can come behind the ears, or you're just reaching the arms forward. Whatever option you need to lift the chest. We're just adding a little more dynamic tension through the hip, or sorry, through the core. Right heel lowers to hover. Lift it up. Good. Two. Three. Four. Halfway there. Six. Good. Chest is stable. Last one. Good. When the right leg comes up, switch the block to the right foot. If you need to drop the shoulders for a moment, give them a break. When you're ready, lift it back up. Left heel lowers to hover for eight. Seven. Squeeze the inner thighs. Six. Five. Try not to let the toes turn out. Four. Three. Two. Last one. But now it's going to get even more fun. So you're going to grab the block. I want you to bring it to the top of the left thigh. We're going to take a bicycle option here. Right elbow is coming onto the block, and you want to hold this block in place. So the left arm can come out. The left fingertips can come behind the ear if that's comfortable. Left knee is in contact with the block. Right elbow. Right foot flexes. Lower to hover. Good. That's one. Good. Squeeze the core. Two. Three. Four. Halfway there. Five. Chest is lifted. Six. Seven. Keep the pressure on the block. Last one. Good. Drop the shoulders. Switch the block to the top of the right thigh. Left elbow. Hold the block in place. Right arm comes out to stabilize. Flex the left foot. When you're ready, lower the left heel. Lift it up. Two. Three. Four. Good. Keep pressing on the block. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Release. Block comes off to the side. Knees are bent and stacked over the hips. We're going to move into our Lincoln extensions without weights. Palms are pressing to the thighs. You're just above the thighs, maybe even slightly above the knees. And then I want you to press the knees into the palms and the palms back into the knees. So this alone should activate the core. You're going to take right arm, right leg, extend them out. Good. Palm comes back to the thigh. Left. Release. Three. Center. Low back stays flat. Really tuck the tailbone here. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Stay here. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Press into the thighs. Six. Five. Four. Strong arms. Three. Last set. Good. From here, legs will extend. I want you to keep a slight bend in the knees. Heels are pressing down. Toes are up. Fingertips will reach up to the sky. We're coming into a sprinter sit-up. So take a deep breath in where you are. On the exhale, you're going to sit up with the torso. Pull the left knee into the chest and just tap the inside of the left foot with the right hand. Slowly lowering. Good. When the fingertips are reaching up, you're exhaling to lift. Switching sides. Tap the right foot slow on the lower. Exhale for three. Inhaling as you unravel. Exhale four. Three, 
two. Last one. Good, lower it down. We're gonna sit it all the way up. And then come back into our tabletop position. We're gonna do one final move with the weights, and then we're done with the weights. Actually, I'll give you the option for the weights on another move, but you probably will want that. I am going to use the lightest of my weights for this. So we are coming from our tabletop. We're gonna come out into a chest fly with one weight. So just so you can see where I'm going, right palm will come down below the shoulders. You are pressing the mat away to stabilize through the chest. Good, weight is in the left hand. Knuckles are pressing down. You're gonna take the weight directly out to the left. Try not to open the shoulder, open the chest. You simply want to bring the weight up shoulder height. Good, so I'm gonna switch the weight into the right hand so we can start with the right. Knees are underneath the hips, left palm is below the shoulder. You're gonna take it out and down. Good, two, three. If you need to keep a slight bend in the elbow, bend the elbow. Five, six, good, seven, eight. Switch the weight, right palm down, right into it. One, two, good, squeeze the back muscles. Four, strong core. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, weight is done, unless you choose to use it later. Tabletop position, right toes will extend back. You are pointing the toes to the back of your room. Hips are staying level. Left fingertips come behind the left ear. If it is available for you to roll the chest open without compromising the spine, I want you to take the option. This is our inhale. Exhale, you're crunching the left elbow to the right knee. Open up, inhale. Exhale, crunch. Squeeze the core as you tap. That's two. Three. Four. Halfway there, we're getting into our cardio section. Five, six, seven, good, eight. After you extend, release the left palm, drop the right knee. Start with the leg first, extend the left toes, pointing them to the back wall. Fingertips of the right hand behind the ear, maybe roll the chest open. This is your inhale, squeeze the glute. Exhale, crunch. Good, inhale open, exhale two, three, four, really pressing into the left palm, five, three more, six, seven, eight, good, open it up, and then release it down, find your cat cow. Good, giving the abs a break. Inhale, exhale. One more. Good, meet me in your cow pose. Tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips. Find your first downward facing dog, pedal to the feet. And then finding stillness, lift the heels high, start to tiptoe the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Starting off our cardio flow here with the feet hip distance on your inhale, lift halfway to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Rising to stand, arms sweep to the sky, palms meet. And then exhale, release. Release the arms by the sides. So you have the option to do what you want with the arms here. You can catch the hips. You can bring the palms together, or you can make a fist with one of the hands and just hold on to the opposite fist to keep the chest engaged. I'm gonna catch an opposite fist. Feet are hip distance, toes are in front of the heels. You're gonna sink the hips down so that we keep the lower body activated. Weight shifts into the right foot, staying low. Left toes are gonna tap straight back. Left toes are gonna cross behind you, think curtsy. Left foot stands forward. Stay on the right foot so only the left foot is moving. Left toes tap back. Left toes cross, left foot stamps down, maybe the hips sink even deeper. Good, tap, cross, center. Four, cross, center. Five, cross, center. Six, cross, center. Last, or, sorry, last two. 
Final one. Good, from here, inhale, reach the arms up. This is where you have the option to use weights. Exhale, fold. If you want to use a weight, when we come back to the top of our mat, we're going to take a curl and a press. So you'll just need the weights to the top of the mat. Good, so from your fold, plant the palms. You can jump or step the feet back, find your plank. Good, you're going to lower down into a push-up. Press it back up. Right palm stays down, open. Forearm side plank, left elbow down. Side plank, right palm. Full plank. Right palm pulls into the shoulder. So think a row here, you're just not using a weight. Right palm back down. Left row. Good. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Good. Jump the feet out, back in. Good. From here, jump the feet to the top of the mat. Grab the weights as you rise. Curl. Press. Good. From here, drop the weights. Plant the palms. Jump it back. Push up. From here, right palm stays down. Left elbow. Right palm. We're rowing right first. Rowing left. Right knee. Left knee. Jack. Forward. This is a trick to make you do burpees. Good, so just take it as you can. We're gonna take one more. Good, rowing to the right. Left, knee, knee, jack, step it forward. Curl, press. Drop the weights. Jump it back from here. Right toes elevate. You're gonna lift it up into your three-legged down dog. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Good, inhale, lift. Strong core, control the movements, knee to chest. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, cross. Good, we're gonna reverse that, inhale. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chest. Good, inhale up. Exhale, right. Inhale. Step the foot through, meet me in a high lunge. Good. Shoulders are over the hips. Heart rate is elevated. Deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna hover. Good, so three parts here. Inhale, lift. Second part, exhale, warrior three. Take it back, inhale. Last part, we're twisting. Good, so again, back to center. Exhale, hover. Inhale, rise. Warrior three. Step it back. Take your twist. Good, inhale, that's two sets. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, center. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, twist on the exhale. Good, three more sets. Good, find a moving meditation here with the breath. Good, so first you hover. Find your warrior three. If you need to take the hands to the mat or a block, take the option. One more round. Good, take your twist. That's the wrong way, inhale, center. Exhale, frame the right foot, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, extend the right leg. Good, inhale, sink. Maybe lift the chest higher. Exhale, fold. Good, four more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last two, last one, 
Good, bend the knee, plant the palms, right foot steps back, take your vinyasa if you would like it. Meet me back in downward facing dog. Good, just wiping the slate clean, maybe tunneling through the feet once you find your down dog. And then when you're ready, heels lift, you can tiptoe, jump, step, walk, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, palms meet overhead. Bend the elbows, thumbs to chest, setting up for the left side. So we're coming back to those uh, lunges. You're going to step straight back, curtsy, and then forward. So feet are hip distance, hands can catch the hips. You can catch an opposite fist or palms meet. You're going to sink the hips so the quads stay activated. Weight is now on the left foot. When you're ready, right toes tap back, right toes cross, reset. Good, that's one. Two, chest stays tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Good, from here we're gonna move back into those burpees. So if you want the weights, they're at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Plant the palms, you can jump or step it back. You're gonna take a push up to begin. Left palm will stay down now, right arm lifts. Side plank with the forearm down. Good, left palm back down. Full plank when you row, left palm comes first. So left palm to the shoulder. Right palm to the shoulder. Left knee, right knee. Good, take your jab, step it forward, catch the weights, curl, press. Good, drop the weights, plant the palms, back, push up, side plank, forearm side plank, side plank, row left, row right, knee, knee, jack, step, Curl, press. Good, one more. Strong body, find your side plank. Forearm side plank. Side plank. Row, row. Knee, knee. Jack, forward, curl, press. Good, weights come down. Good, jump or step it back. Left toes lift, hold it. Three-legged down dog. Deep breath in. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross. Reverse the direction. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Good, your exhale to the left elbow. Inhale, three like a down dog. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hover. Inhale, warrior three. Take it back. Exhale, twist to the left. Good, that's one, inhale. Exhale, hover. Inhale, up. Warrior three. Keep it going again. Find that moving meditation. Focus on the breath. If you lose the movement, just find what feels good to the body. Three more rounds. Almost there, last one.
Go ahead, take it back to center. Exhale, frame the left foot. Maybe widen up the stance. Take a deep breath in, sink the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, extend the leg, fold the torso. Good, use the breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last one. Good, re the knee, plant the palms, step it back. If you want one final vinyasa, please take it. Good, from here, drop the knees. Big toes touch, hips sink back towards the heels. If this is uncomfortable for the shoulders to have the arms outstretched, bring the knees together and then reach the hands back for the feet. Take a few breaths in your child's pose. And then bring the palms down below the shoulders, lift the chest, maybe walk the knees a little closer towards the top of your mat. You're gonna sit back on the heels and then we're gonna stretch the quads. Just take the fingertips back behind the toes. If this is enough, maybe you stay. Maybe the elbows bend straight back. You're stretching the shoulders, the deltoids as well. Knees can stay grounded. Maybe stretch the ankles by lifting the knees. Good, breathing here. And then slowly lifting the chest, walking the palms forward, lifting back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, reach the right toes high. Exhale, step the right foot through, just drop the left knee on top of the left toes. Staying here in your low lunge, opening up the left hip flexor. Go ahead, keep the chest tall. If you want to take a twist or a quad stretch from here, left palm comes below the shoulder or slightly in front of the shoulder. Right arm can come up, maybe the right palm finds the right inner thigh. If you want to take the twist, just reach the right hand towards the back of the room. Maybe bend the left knee, reach the hand for the foot. Good, if that's not available, you can always bring some slight pressure inside of this right knee, opening up to the groin as well as the inner thigh. Good, take one more breath. If you have the left foot, carefully release it. Framing the right foot with the palms, tuck the left toes and just extend the right leg straight. Lengthening the back of the right leg, opening up the hamstring, the back of the knee, drawing the right toes back towards the face. Right hip back, left hip forward. And then just slide the right heel back to re-bend the knee, palms plant, step it back, down dog, pedal to the feet. And just switching sides, left toes will lift. Your exhale will step the foot through. Drop the right knee on top of the toes. Keep the chest low, or sorry, keep the chest lifted, but fingertips stay down. Go just breathing into the right hip flexor to begin, and then you choose if this is where you stay. If you want to work towards that twist, maybe you stretch the right quad, right palm will come down. Maybe find the left inner thigh with the palm. Maybe send the left hand towards the back of your mat. Maybe the right knee bends and you catch the foot. Whatever option you're taking, keep the length in the spine and keep up with your steady breath. Mindfully coming out of this, releasing the right foot, framing the left foot, fingertips are down, right toes tucked. Take it back into your half split. Left leg lengthens to your degree. If you need to keep the knee bent, keep it bent. Good, long spine, left hip back, right hip forward. And then we'll slide the left heel back to bend the knee. And then from here, just step the left knee back, come into your tabletop, and then just take a seat back on the heels once again. From here, inhale, reach both arms to the sky. On your exhale, interlace the fingers, press the palms straight up. And then exhale, take the palms towards the right, lengthen the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. From here, bring the arms out to a T. Bring the right hand in front of the body. The palm is facing towards you, the thumb is up. And then you're just going to catch either the right elbow, maybe above the right elbow, maybe below the elbow. 
You want to drop the right shoulder down away from the ear, stretching out the right shoulder here. So sit up tall, slight bend through the right elbow. And then we'll take the arms back to a T, just switching sides. Left arm crosses in front of the body, palm faces towards you, thumb faces the sky. Drop the left shoulder down away from the ear, sit up tall. Good, and then take it back to center, right arm comes up, bend the elbow, catch the right elbow with the left hand, take a tricep stretch. And then just switch left elbow bends, right hand catches. And releasing when you're ready. Feel free to take some more stretches if the body needs it. Otherwise, that's all that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your flex and flow. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your evening. Thank you as always.